અશ્વિન પ્રભુ એન્ડ એવરીબડી તમામ માતાજી સોમાશ્રી એવરીબડી સ્વીચ ઓન ધ કેમેરા પ્રભુ આઈ એમ જસ્ટ પ્રેઈંગ ટુ ધ લોર્ડ ઓકે તો પ્રેઈંગ ઇન ફ્રન્ટ ઓફ અસ ઓલસો ફોર અસ ઓલસો યુ પ્રે ફોર મી જડાદા કમ ટુ ધ કેમેરા ओमग्गानतिमिरांधश्यो्ञानंजनाशलाकया सहगण रघुनाथ नित सजीव साधित शबदूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादन सहगण ललिता श्री विशखा नित नमं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीनी नमस्ते शारशतिदेव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे नमं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमाते जय पथका स्वामीनी नामिने नमाचार्य पादा निताय कृपा प्रदायिने गौरकाथधमधा नगर ग्राम तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव शादि गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हरिओम तत् सो आई रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल द डिवोटीज दो आर इन दिस क्लास प्लीज टू स्विच ऑन द कैमेरा इट इज माय हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू एवरीबॉडी यू नो दैट दिस क्लास that's why i'm not to openly not to give the id password i'm giving that those who are really listener and those who really want to learning something so this is the learning class this is not just time passing this and that so please to keep switch on your camera and sit down <clears throat> so first of all i just to pay my humble obeisances and gratitude to all the devotees those who are coming to this class also those who are hearing from the live session so to please to bless me and to keep on your blessings to me that i can say whatever really to be learning from the proper teachings and the previous acharyas and each and every word is to helping us to okay now kishori mata ji is coming so to helping us our spiritual development then will be to praying to the lotus feet of who is the behera the beherai who is this mata ji or prabhu hari bol hello kid na phone na prabhu hari bol how are you very good are you okay yes sweet gopi yeah. are you okay yeah. Yes. What is your name? Prachi. Prachi. You are from mm-hmm. where? England. Huh? Speak now. UK. UK. Oh, yeah. very good. Thank you. Behera Mataji, you come to the camera. Hi, Bo Prabhu. Hi, Bo. it's it's anjisha from south africa yes yes andrisha mata ji please to switch on the camera you know very well sure, that sure. i am very strict rule that those who come to the class must be switch on that is my terms and condition to this class so please switch on then it will be helping <clears throat> hare krishna prabhu pranam pranam asim prabhu thank you so much that you say, you prayed for me and all the devotees yes prabhu i pray for me or for everybody 
for you also for everyone also oh that's fine that's fine so our, our today main listener is the prachi prachi how are you, uh, how old are you 7 seven. 7 yeah my oh. birthday was in september oh sorry my birthday was in september oh your mother said that you born in september yes okay so your mother said yes okay you 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 keep the camera in one place not put in the hand then it will be shaking and making disturb yes and don't sleep this is a class sit properly this is a class okay yes like this like your school you are sitting okay then everybody can teach you are the our guru mata okay everybody said you are our guru mata okay okay so you sit properly okay hare krishna thank you so much you sit put put on the camera hare krishna so today our topic is that <clears throat> that clever diplomacy is very important topics uh that we are in in this modern world we wanted to very diplomatic in our family life in our relationship in our job purpose we want to become very diplomatic even you see in this modern world if you not to be with diplomatic then people are just to cheat with you that's why we have to learn today what is the real clever diplomacy we are learning from the bhagavad gita because bhagavad gita also a one time of diplomacy panchapan uh, sorry the kauravas uh, did the diplomacy with the Pandav, pancha pandav to hankering all the assets and just to kick throw them on the street and they are thinking they are the good diplomatic person they are satisfy their life and they are very rich they are very awe and reverence everything but we have to learn today that if you are not to be a real clever diplomatic you are just to defeat your life and in this material world sometime some people in in different consequence they are thinking i am very diplomatic and clever but they don't think about they are the foolish number one that is we have to prove today how a person to be depend on the lotus feet of krishna is the real diplomatic but those who are not to depend on the lotus feet of krishna they are not a real diplomatic they are a foolish number one they can think about i know everything i am doctor i am engineer i am this and that i am a politician i am a student but our acharya said the real diplomacy is that when you surrender to the krishna and you will do the activities under the shelter of krishna that is the real diplomacy because krishna is the real diplomatic person because all the the different aspects of the knowledge is coming from the krishna so he knows very well what is right what is wrong so we can hear today how durjodhan did the diplomacy with his guru with his the pancha pandav but he cannot to hide his the weakness his foolishness you know sometime in this modern world think about now oh <clears throat> just like in this modern sequence we can see na sometime that uh, you did a wrong things so before your mother or your such example any relationship you did a wrong thing and that your beloved will know that so before that your beloved know that you thinking if i just go and just to ensure oh i didn't do other person do but those who are the real i mean the clever 
he can understand how he doing that diplomacy with me actually he is the original crimer but he just to make me that i am the foolish so that we have to understand today how people can cheat with us in this material world if we have if we are not to the proper knowledge you understand <clears throat> Navakishori Mataji, as soon as you reach home and you switch on the camera, but I know that sometimes some people I'll tell still not to open the camera. It's okay, no problem. So we will discuss today the Bhagavad Gita, slok number third, third number slok, slok number third. I said that every day that you will come with the Bhagavad Gita. We will discuss on the Bhagavad Gita because everything or knowledge we can get it from the Bhagavad Gita. Ashim Prabhu, read it. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Pranam. Pranam. <clears throat> Text three. <clears throat> Pasyatam Pandu Putranam Acharya Mahatim Kamam. Yudham Drupada Putrena Tava Sisena Dimata. Translation yes. yeah. Oh, my teacher, behold the great army of the sons of Pandu, so expertly arranged by your intelligent disciple, the son of Drupada. <laughs> Excellent. Come to the first point. Oh, my teacher. Oh, my teacher. First, you can see that a pride person, a arrogant person, don't know that how to speak with the teacher. Teacher is like a friend. Oh, my teacher. So, no, we should not to learn this baby culture to teacher we will tell like this. Teacher will just to pay obeisances. Hare Krishna, my teacher, or accept my humble obeisances to my teacher. This is the baby culture. First, you approach to your teacher, your guru. You will speak like this way. But Durjadan is very arrogant and feeling that I know everything. I know the, all the sex of the knowledge. So that's why he is speaking to his teacher as a friendly. Sometimes this word, oh my, oh my word, generally we can use for the friendly behavior. Just like, oh my Prabhu, don't do like this. Oh, Mataji, don't like. This is we can say when we are very frank relationship. But we cannot to say this kind of word to the guru or teacher. Are you speak to your guru like this? Oh, my Guruji, what you are doing? This is not the proper language. Because guru is not, or teacher is not our friend. They are our teachers, a respectable person. That's why first to give the respect. So first quality or first aspects we can learn. When people are very awe and reverence in this material world, they are become to less intelligent or proud, they don't know how to respect the senior. The first learning from the Durjadana, that things. Second, you see, behold the great army of the sons of Pandu. You look, Durjadana said to his guru, you look that how the Pandu's sons, the great armies are here. Great army is there. My question is that. Who is the, uh, the army, uh, the chief of the army? Dronacharya. Why Durjodhana say? Are, are you feel that uh, Durjodhana was blind? Huh? Durjodhana was blind? No. If I say to Paramatma Prabhu, Oh Prabhu, look how they made it the poster. Oh Prabhu, Look how they're doing the program. 
just like our Paramatma Prabhu are conducting the program to the West Valley. Then if I say, oh, Paramatma Prabhu, look how that other devotees have did the program. Paramatma Prabhu, that time, what do you understand? That Prabhu said like this, that means I have some mistake, my program. That's why Prabhu look just to pointing me. Prabhu look to their program, how they are just to organize their program. You learn from there. So this is the technical word. That's why the Durjodhana uh, told to his teacher, Oh Guruji, you look how the Pancha Pando, the Pandu's son, just to organize his, uh, the, uh, just to his army. Look at this. So like this way, he wanted to, another thing is that, my question is then, if I tell to that uh, uh, Paramatma Prabhu, look at this like, that means if I know that how to conduct, then why am I just to tell Paramatma Prabhu? I can organize and tell, na. So I don't want it to show my weakness, that I don't know these things. I wanted to praise the uh, Paramatma Prabhu, that you are ignorant, you are foolish, you don't know. That's why I'm saying, oh Prabhu, look how they are organized their program. So or, through this sentence, we can understand Durjodhana's mind, some weakness is there. Weakness is there. That's why Durjodhana told to his guru, the last class I told, generally, Teacher go to teach the uh, student. Now, student come to teach the teacher. Teacher go. Teacher yes. go to student to teach him and guide him. Yes. But when the student come to the teach to the teacher, that means what is that time we can learn? The student have any doubt and confusion yes student have some weakness and doubt and some confusion excellent answer that uh, when these things is happening so we can understand that uh, what is the mm, uh, triparna sometimes give the answer so that now you see the next sentence so expertly arranged by your intelligent disciple, the son of Drupad. My question is that. Why he said that your intelligent disciple, the son of Drupad, he can tell to everybody's name. But why Durjodhana use the word of your intelligent disciple, the Son of Durjodhan. Here is a two point you very carefully to listen. I just to say like this. Oh, Anuprabhu, look. That how Vishanti Mataji is making the program. But if I say, Oh, Anuprabhu, you see your friend. That uh, Vishanti Mataji, how to organize the program. Then if Anuprabhu have some cleverness, Anuprabhu think about. Prabhu can directly say, my friend, Vishanti uh, Mataji's name. But why use the frame? There is something doubt. Prabhu, something mean to that word. Mean to that word. This is the spiritual diplomacy. The clever diplomacy. How you understand People are using the word and just to uh, Shushmita Mataji, come to the camera. Kofi Prabhu, come to the camera. So we can learn these things. Can you understand? When people will say, just like I say, Paramatma Prabhu, you see that your friend, your 
best friend jogesh prabhu you see how to do the program i can say prabhu your friend jogesh prabhu how to do it there but when i am telling the best friend that time paramatma prabhu have to something doubt why prabhu using the best friend there is something wanted to poking me or just to treating me something with that jogesh prabhu so when that durjodana said that your intelligent disciple just can tell directly disciple but when said that the intelligent disciple that means he make it separate to the all the students because dronacharyas all the panchu pandav is the dronacharya student but why using the before the origin to the intelligent that means something wanted to something wanted to pointing or fingering that we can learn through the purport second another thing why he was saying that the your this your intelligent disciple of drupad oh sorry not arjuna drupad drupad your intelligent disciple the son of drupad why not to drup i uh, the son of drupad name not not to mention why the mention of drupad name we are immediately can understand something wrong with the drupad and dronacharya drupad and dronacharya such example i am giving example anu prabhu have some fighting or disagreement with the mother ganga vishanti mata ji's mother if i tell to anu prabhu like this anu prabhu look the ganga mata ji is very best daughter vishanti mata ji how to do it immediately anu prabhu understand why prabhu not to say directly to vishanti's name why using the ganga mata's name that means prabhu knew that i have some conflict with the mother ganga that's why he is fingering to the mother name and to pointing to the vishanti that's why there is something is there that we can learn here this is called in the clever diplomacy you remind something you remind something just like this is called in the inhumility inhumility just like you sometime tell na that uh, such example if you somebody to be surprised or just to make it down what you will do such a a girl is to be put to love to you has a relationship with you but for a some extent that girl going to another boyfriend and after that that boyfriend is just to kicking or something and uh, that girl again come to your life then in front of the other person how you speak to that girlfriend oh you are that na uh, that you are before ex- uh, the boyfriend ex boyfriend i know him oh you are that lover na when you are telling like this way that woman understand that lady understand this is just to what is doing just to fingering me or pointing me this is called in the clever diplomacy not to say directly say say everything indirectly say everything indirectly this is called in the clever diplomacy very carefully to listen how you can speak how you can speak you not to say directly just like here is our behera mata ji came and i said oh mata ji you are maybe something she has some conflict with the vishanti mata ji or someone and i said oh mata ji when she was just to say are krishna prabhu i come to the class by your request and i have some something with the mata ji have some i um, mean the conflict then how i speak you know to mata ji to inhale me oh mata ji the vishanti is very good friend 
come, come, come to the class. Then Mataji understand. Prabhu know my name. Why just to tell I am the friend of Vishanti? Because that means Prabhu knew I have some conflict with the Vishanti. This is called in the clever diplomacy. This is called in the clever diplomacy. How you can speak to a person indirect way. Now come to the purport. Yes, read it. Hare Krishna Prabhu Pranam. Pranam. Purport Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Duryodhana, a great diplomat, wanted to point out the defects of Dronacharya. You see, those who are foolish person, nah? those who are feeling, I know everything, I am the learned, I am this, that, they always do show the other person fault. And they think about, if I show the other person fault, that means I am to be in front of the society or the social media or everybody. I am showing I am very innocent person. I am very intelligent person. But those who have some knowledge, they can understand how foolish you are. We know your weakness and your problems. Durjodhana thinking. I, I, I don't have weakness. Actually, who was feared to see the, uh, the army the of uh, the uh, Pandavas, not Dronacharya. Durjodhana was feared. That's why Durjodhana came to Dronacharya. Oh, you see how your disciples, your students, how they are just to prepare or organize the uh, army. So this is that. Those who are foolish person try to hide their weakness, try to hide their secret. They are just to throw the other person to be the faulty in front of the eyes of others. They are very, very fifth class people. It is the scripture saying they are not even third class. They are the fifth class. That's why please to avoid that person. Those person wanted to keep the prestige value and to inhumiliate to you and make you the in front of the everybody that you are the crimer. They are the greatest enemy, more than the poisonous of the snake. Because snake bite, you die one time. This diplomatic people bite, you will die every moment. Because they are every sequence, they are just to inhumiliate. Sometimes somebody's wife, somebody's husband is like that. If husband and wife is not good relationship, Husband, every situation just to inhumiliate the wife. Oh, this woman, leave it. She's uh, screaming and shouting. This is one point. Go to, I leave it. This woman is unsocial. Don't know how to dress. That means every place just to. Actually, he wanted to show, I know everything. I am this, I am that. That's why this is very dangerous. Those who are like this person. We should understand. Yes, next. The great the great Brahmana commander in chief Dronacharya had some political quarrel with King Drupada. The father of Drupadi, who was Arjuna's wife. Yes. Asked, now you understand. Dronacharya had some political quarrel with Drupad. Political quarrel with Drupad. That's why you see, come to the again, the uh, translation. Here, uh, uh, Dronacharya, uh, Durjodhana said, how? See, your intelligent disciple, the son of Drupad. Why he directly not to mention that Arjuna? Why is just to mention the name of Drupad? That means he remind, O Durjodha, O Dronacharya, your enemy is the Drupad, and his son is, his son in law is the Arjuna, is come to fight with you. He's come to fight you because 
Drupad is the uh, uh, father of the Draupadi, and Arjuna is the wife. Uh, 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 Arjuna's wife is Draupadi. That says remind out that fighting. Why he might fighting? Sometimes I don't know that you read it. One of the uh, literature Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a very one of the famous literature. Name is Macbeth. There is a one past times is like that when you wanted to person to do something, and that person not to interested to do it something wrong. That time, in that person ear, you will just to give all the negative idea about that person. Then that person will do that things. That person will do that things. Understand? Shumitra, uh, Shushmita Mataji, come to the camera. So, Drupad, now you come to the point. You can ask, Prabhu, Drupad and Dronacharya, what was the problem? When Drupad and Dronacharya was in the same school, that time they did a one commitment. Drupad said, uh, Dronacharya said, he was a little bit weak. So when he was in the good student and helping to Drupad and uh, Dr uh, Drupad helping to Dronacharya, then Dronacharya said that in future, uh, uh, sorry, Drupad was weak student and Dronacharya is helping to his military uh, teachings. And Drupad that time said, one day if I become the king, I will give my half property to you. But when he become the king, after that he not to mate with the Drupa, uh, Dro, uh, Dronacharya. Even Dronacharya went to asking some property and that time he was just to inhumiliate and just to rebooking and kick out his palace. That time Dronacharya take a bow that I will be got one of the son who will be the killer of your life. <clears throat> killer of your life. And that time, Drupada was thinking that um, uh, Drupada, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, Drishta Dunmo, you understand? The Drishta Dunmo was just to create it. And he was thinking that if I remind that things, then Drup, uh, Dronacharya become more arrogant because when uh, Dronacharya sent to Arjuna and Arjuna fought with the Drupad and just to defeat it and to bring him in the lotus feet of the Dronacharya and Dronacharya 50% of the property he take out. And that time Drupad took a bow. I did a fire sacrifice and we got one of the children. That children will be the killer of your life. To whom? The Dronacharya. So that political issue to bring at this place. So see how political issues are bring the Drupad. I mean the Durjadhana. This is the clever diplomacy. Can you imagine how people wanted to make it the revolutionary, how to make it the people more notorious, which word you have to use. Now you read it. Yes. As a result of his of this quarrel, Drupad performed a great sacrifice by which he received the benediction of of having a son who would be able to kill Dronacharya. Can you understand? Now why say that your intelligent disciple, the son of Drupa, that means to telling the uh, Drishta Dunmo. That means to remind it that quarreling and fighting. This is called in intelligent, uh, I mean the clever diplomacy. How to make a person is arrogant. How to make a person is more revolutionary to fight against him. Can you understand? Can you understand? Sometimes 
a girl fall in love to another boy and that boy is weak to another girl and that girl wanted to that who is the first girl love to that boy wanted to kick out from this girl like that boy what he is doing to telling some all the negative side of this girl oh you forgot it few months before na that girl was kicking you few months before that girl was rejected you few months before that girl did like this that means that girl you have to understand internally she wanted to that boy in his life that boy that's why he is doing the, using this kind of word but if that girl have no interest to that boy then she can say okay no problem this can happen in this material you just to make a relationship pardon him forget it make a relationship prabhu give some time then maybe she will come back but when she not to say like this she showing you some faults of that girl that means you have to understand that girl has some what some some thing is in her mind about you that's why she showing about that girl is all the negative side this is the clever diplomacy trying to make a fight with them yes thank you you understand now sometime your friend is happening na those who are your best friend and another friend not to be uh, uh, become jealous why you have a good friend with the first student that time what he is doing you know to go to the first student and telling i see a hey, hey Pra- uh, pravesh you know oshin is not a good student he even come to the late school and his parents is not very educated he is not very high society and he is a, a devotee you see the putting tila why you are just to me that means he wanted to break the relationship with the fast boy and make a relationship to you so this is the called in clever diplomacy now you understand oshin prabhu yes prabhu how to break up the relationship yes no now we did drona charya knew this perfectly well and yet as a liberal brahmana he did not hesitate to impart all his military secrets when the son of drupad drishta drishta dumna dumna drishta dumna was entrusted to him for military education so now the, so duranacharya was that kind of brahman when he just to gave the military education he knew that drishta dumna also his student but drishta dumna is the same time is the enemy's son but he was a liberal brahman this is the teachings of our vedic scripture when you go to teach to someone you not to teach according to your way you teach what is the right that is right what is the wrong that is wrong oh that person is become my enemy i will teach the less no a brahman should be honest always that's why dronacharya knew that drishta dunmo is the enemy of my son the son of my uh, sorry the enemy son but he never not to miserly to teach something wrong or something less he taught everything that is proper said here yes now on the battlefield of kurukshetra at me one minute another point you can see here prabhupad wanted to qualify the dronacharya and durjodhan dronacharya knew that drupa san drishtadunmo is the greatest enemy for his life but still he is a brahman he taught all the military the training to him but same time you can see drishtadunmo is the brother of arjuna but not to teach the proper things he taught to his guru that you kill my brother 
to kill my brother so this is called in the jealousy when a person is the real jealous he never to teach you the right things that's why it is our teachings for our life never make a friendship those who are internally very jealous to you your efforts your um, uh, uh, the knowledge your intelligence your beauty you don't mix with that person because that person is the greatest enemy for your life greatest enemy because he is uses you but he not to transform you but we can see durjodana sorry dronacharya try to transform the drishta dunmo but drisht dhitra uh, sorry dronach uh, sorry durjodan not to change transform rather make the enemy to dronacharya also against the panchapani so this is the nature of the jealous person for their selfishness they can kill any person they can make a uh, cheat with any person to fulfill his desire so you have to understand this kind of ladies this kind of man are very very fit class people in our life so we have to understand this drona durjodana type of people don't make a relationship in your life they are just to use for your for his or her interest not for your spirituality for your spirituality such like i will say paramatma prabhu let's go to do go to the sea beach dawan sea beach paramatma said prabhu i have a class today are leave it let's go every day you do the class today we let's go enjoy you will understand this fellow is the selfish person why he just to don't want it to go that's why my crucial class spiritual class to leave it and take to me sevich sevich so this person not to think about my good side think about his interest not my interest that's why this person is notorious for my life he never become my friend he is the enemy in my friend if he will the friend he will say okay paramatma prabhu i am sundanit also attend your class because we can next time can go to any other time otherwise after the class but don't leave it just say choose your friend according to your knowledge not for your demand be reminded this sentence choose your friend not according to your selfishness according to your spiritual knowledge then you become success but in this world people are suffer people are cheat when they chose sometimes we can see the relationship a girl has a relationship a boy has a relationship with a girl when that girl become ugly fatty this that then go to another girl or go to another boyfriend that girl was cry and sometimes call me those who are counseling i said don't worry goes around comes around after a six month that boy get it another girl and go then that time was that girl said hey cheater you cheat with me and leave with me that time that boy hey, rubbish you are also a cheater you are also to love a one boy that boy love you heart and soul to you but you cheat and come to my life because i have a reach that's why you come to my life so cheater getting back in cheating so that's why the prabhat says goes around comes around what you will do to the others don't worry either today 10 days or one month or one year you will get it back again just wait time will show everything that's a very careful don't make a relationship this kind of people don't make a relationship those who are use your time those who are use your everything for their sense enjoyment not to think about your spirituality you will understand that person is not my good friend get my point durjodana you see where 
Dronacharya has a good relationship with Pancho Pandav, but Durjodhana wanted to break up the relation with Durjodhana uh, is Pancho Pandav and Dronacharya. Think about how disciple is that. A guru teach all the knowledge to his disciple, but disciple, even for his selfishness, not to think about it as guru's interest. To use the guru for his sense enjoyment. In this material world, you also see. Even we can see, even our iskon also see. Use the guru. Guruji, that fellow did like this. Keep some mantra, how to kill that. Those who don't know the Guru, they go to like this. But they don't think about Guru is an honest person. He's an innocent person. Why are you using my Guru for these things? To like that. I have a money. I have a this. And you give me initiation. I wanted to show the face below. I am a scorn devotee. But they are not to following scorn culture. They are not to following Vedic principle. So they are the notorious person. They are the greatest enemy in our life. So it is called in a clever diplomacy? No. This is called in the notorious diplomacy. I will explain the real diplomacy. What is this at the end? First I am showing how Durjodhana wanted to show his clever diplomacy. But those who are intelligent person, they can understand their diplomas. Yes, next. Ashim. Drishta Yamna took the side of the Pandavas and it was he who arranged for their military flag. After having learned the art from Dronacharya. Duryodhana pointed out his mistake of Dronacharya's so that he might be alert and uncompromising in the fighting. Can By you understand? Now you clear? Duryodhana going to teach Dronacharya. You see how your best disciple Drishtadunmo, how to organize the military, the, uh, uh, the procession and everything. Because Drishtadunma is the disciple of Dronacharya and he is the uh, son of Drishtadunma. That's why he is showing and pointing his finger. Actually, it is pointing his finger, his mistake. Now, Drona, Durja, Dronacharya to pointing his weakness. Dronacharya was not to afraid. Afraid is Durjodhana. That's why he is showing the finger. You look how they are doing. That is Prabhupada now saying. Yes, tell. Ready. By uh, by this by this he wanted to point out also that he should not be similarly lenient in in battle against the Pandavas who were also Dronacharya's affectionate students. Can Arjuna, you understand now what Prabhupada wanted? He wanted to show the mistakes and wanted to tell the Dronacharya, don't be lenient to your disciples because they will kill you. So it is that to teaching that they will kill you. Now this is to make him against the uh, uh, Pancho Pandav and to break their relationship. Can you understand how a person when become envious, even use the guru for his own self-interest. For his own self-interest. Just like sometimes, if Paramatma Prabhu say that Anu Prabhu is going to take initiation from Bhakti Chaitanya Swami. And, to the, and uh, Anu Prabhu and uh, Paramatma Prabhu has the greatest fighting inside. And say, oh, Guru Maharaj, you will give initiation to Anu Prabhu. But Guru Maharaj, I never can see him in Mangalarti any day. And my Guru Maharaj, I never see him in my Zoom any day in class. Guru Maharaj thinking, oh, Paramatma is so nice, my disciple. To showing the Anu, the faults. But if Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj is intelligent, that time I ask, hey, Paramatma, why only to showing the Anu all the bad side? 
did you not to see any good side in him what is the problem do you have some problem with ono otherwise only you are standing beside me only pointing and fingering his all the problems why you not to showing his some good side that he is chanting he is reading books he is coming to the sunday love feast he going to the book distribution this is you not to say did you have some problem tell 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 the truth then paramatma will say yes kurumaras i don't like him because do you know that day i said that you come to my class he don't come that's why i don't like that person this i want that you don't give initiation then guru maharaj was say oh paramatma you are my supermost student disciple for your own interest you make me as a seater guru not to give initiation as a good boy you know no so this is happening sometime in our life we are bengali this is called in kan katha kan katha you understand to make somebody enemy to tell something what is called hindi mein kehte hai some totka dena totka dena hai na some of the as what is called in, in english just like some mysterious word you will using to that person ear that that person become the envious to that fellow or rejected that fellow so sometimes people take the advantage to using this kind of word so be careful don't make a relationship with that person don't make a relationship i saw one time in facebook one of the <clears throat> relationship one of them i mean the short clip they are a boyfriend and girlfriend has a good relationship but a boy fall in love to that girl and when ever come and that girl, boy one day is birthday he actually the real girlfriend is that boy is waiting and say oh let's go to uh, today we'll 8 o'clock come to the cafe we'll take prasad but that boyfriend today knew that 8 o'clock that girl will go to that boyfriend the dinner party and say no 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 i will today go to the cinema no 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 my boyfriend waiting i have to go are you are always to go that boyfriend is not good always to bring you the night time prasad night time prasad is not good so let's go to cinema that time that boyfriend saw that two three days is happening like this one day that boyfriend told to his uh, the girlfriend why you are not to give the time nowadays me every time what is happened what, what is the relationship with that boy that girl said no i have no relationship just he is my best friend that time that boy said sometime you remember inside the some good friendship some secret is there maybe you think about that boy is a good friend do you know that really that boy is feeling that you are the only friend There's something he is also to think inside to his heart about you that girl said i never believe it that boy can think about like this about me he is my best friend he never can think about then their boy said okay i will show you the real truth we have to do some drama what you will do tomorrow when you will go to the boyfriend na you will cry that boy rejected me and going to another girl then you will see that boy what is telling okay that girl went to that boy and cry and this oh my darling why you are cry said so that fellow is a cheater to leave with me i was interested and give my everything and he cheat with me then that boy take to that never can take that girl on the chest take the girl head is on the chest and say i am waiting for this day that you kicked out that boy and come to me and understand i am your best friend i am your good lover actually i love you too then that girl immediately stand up and say cheater you are in front of me every time said that you are my best friend but you are internally think about i am your wife i am your boy, girlfriend you wanted to come my life to break my relationship i hate you 
and I reject you from you. So we have to understand sometime every people not to come to our life to repair our relationship, repair our problems or to uh, just to take out all our sorrows and worries. Sometimes some people to come to our life to break our good relationship, break our everything and take to his side or her side to you to use you for his desire. That is the, the clever cheating diplomacy is doing to Durjodhana, to Dronacharya. Dronacharya. Understand Paramatma Prabhu? Is a, is a real yeah. fact in our life? Thank you so much, Prabhu. Yes. Prabhu, can I ask you a quick question? Uh, one minute. I'll finish just now. Yes. Okay, okay. Arjuna especially was his most affectionate and brilliant student. Because so, Durjodhana, one minute, Durjodhana knew Arjuna is the best and very compassionate and very brilliant student of the Dronacharya. And that is Durjodhan never can tolerate. He is very, 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 uh, what is called, uh, jealous. Why Durjodhana is my army? Why he is so compassionate? Why you are so soft corner to Arjuna? You will be soft corner to me. That's why he is telling some, some, what is called, some twisting word, some mysterious word, putting in the air of Durjodhana to make a best relationship with Arjuna and Dronachari. In this material, some people are like this. When see that you have a good relationship with someone, wanted to break up, that time that person, some mm, the fault point wanted to put in your ear. That's what Acharya said. To those you know very well, never hear from everybody, then your relationship will break up. Relation will break up. Understand? I saw my personal life, so many dealings I did with the students. I mean, the different devotees, they are following the relationship also like that. The breakup, husband, wife breakup, boyfriend, girlfriend breakup, for this matter. Yes, next. Ashim. Duryodhana also warned that such leniency in the fight would lead to defeat. Hare Krishna Prabhupada. So Durjodhana, Haribol. Durjodhana also to tell this kind of leniency is to defeat your life. Actually, this is the clever diplomacy. Now come to the conclusion. I put the title or the topic name, clever, uh, clever diplomacy. Is it a clever diplomacy? It is a same word. Not clever. Clever opposite is cheater. It is not a clever diplomacy. It is a cheating diplomacy. So very carefully to understand what is clever diplomacy and what is the cheating diplomacy. Clever diplomacy, repair, reunion, re resolute, resolve. Everything resolved. This is called in del clever diplomacy. But the cheating diplomacy means you are a good relationship. How to break up, how to take out, how to kicking out to that relationship. That is called in the cheating, I mean the cheating, uh, I mean the clever diplomacy. So those who are Krishna's devotees, you see, the Arjuna, Pancho Pandav, they are the clever diplo diplomatic. What? They not to say any bad word or showing the negative side to anybody. They are depend on Krishna. They are depend on Krishna. This is called in clever diplomacy. When somebody cheat with you, somebody play with your life, don't fight. Keep quiet, wait for the time. Time will show everything. Always to remember the two words. 
Time is priceless. Life is valueless. Now this time, if you cheat someone, your life one day become valueless. If you be honest to someone, your future life will be valuable. Let's say these two sentences very carefully remember. Time is priceless and life is valueless. If you are not to give the time value, then your life will be valueless. But if you make your life, time is priceless, your life will be valuable. So that is that. So don't do cheating diplomacy for your own interest to not to using someone or break up someone's relationship and take the advantage or hankering. Rather, those relationship is to make a good and vibrate will be good, helping them to repair. Remember it, one sentence. One, the bricks can make a wall, brick can make a breeze. Break you understand now that what is making the wall or the some um, uh, uh, house or something eats I mean the bricks and cement something to make a wall you need the cement and bricks same way to make a breeze you also to need a brick and the cement a devotee to go to someone like to take the brick and cement not to make a wall, to make a breeze. But a non-devotee, a selfish person, take the bricks and cement to make the wall to the relationship. So this is called in clever diplomacy. The clever diplomacy don't make somebody's life to the breeze. Make a, sorry, don't make a, somebody's life to the wall. Make a breeze that they can rejoin, they can make a good relationship and keep going on. That is the learning through this class and the final teaching. That is the called in the clever diplomacy. You see, Krishna is the greatest diplomacy. Durjodhana did like this. Finally, Krishna by his diplomacy, the Kauravas and Pandavas in mixed together again after the fighting. But Durjodhana, what fighting he is creating to defeat it and to killing everybody. So always to be depend on Krishna's diplomacy, not to the human diplomacy. Because so-called human diplomacy, killing your life, rather take the diplomacy of Krishna. That is rejoice your life and rebuild your life. Thank you so much to this class and your passions. Now I want some question and comments. Yes, Paramatma Prabhu. Your question. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Pranam. Yes. And Prabhu, the, the diplomacy you say is, is not a bad thing. It can be a bad thing if it's, if it's done no, the wrong way. No, no. Diplomacy yeah. is not a bad. If you yeah. use it for, for the breaking. good side. Yes. Yeah. If you make it such an example, Onu Prabhu and the Prahlad Prabhu have some problems, you know, but you yes. diplomatic way, know they are both problems, but you use yes. some diplomacy and to make yes. them good relationship. This is called in good diplomacy. Okay. But you are taking the advantage and take them to your life and using for your interest. This is the bad diplomacy. Yes. Okay. Understand. Now, now, Prabhu, can you, can you explain the meaning of duplicity? You know, they say you must avoid duplicity. Yes, diploma, diplomacy, diplomacy no. and duplicity is the same. Same. Oh, okay. Same. This is the same. Actually, diplomacy, what is this? They have a good relationship, but you're telling something wrong and this and that and break up. Diplomacy, mm. uh, duplicity also to doing like this. now. Mm. You told... To Anu Prabhu, you go and say, Prabhu, that I don't come to the class. And Anu Prabhu come and say, Oh Prabhu, 
ఓ పరమాత్మ ప్రభు జస్ట్ కామ్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ యూ అండ్ టేలింగ్ హరే కృష్ణ హరే కృష్ణ ప్రభు యాక్చువల్లీ హీ డోంట్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ టు యువర్ క్లాస్ దట్స్ యూ సి ఎవ్రీ సాటర్డే కామ్ అండ్ షోయింగ్ సమ్ డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ కాస్ హీ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు కామ్ సి దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ ఇన్ ఐ మీన్ duplicity yeah. and the diplomacy but yes. if you say it, you don't come but you don't say more but onu prabhu is a really the devotee what is prabhu onu prabhu ai paramatma prabhu every day come to class but i think so maybe today is wednesday maybe his guru mara sickness maybe he is going to visit a uh, mate with his guru mara that's why he didn't come the class you don't worry prabhu but we are together with you i think so next week you will come this is called in the real diplomacy but you go to the but onup no you didn't go to meet with your guru maras you going to for another but keep a relationship you and me in a good way because onup knew if paramatma is always connected to sundanitananda then today or tomorrow by association of sundanitananda prabhu paramatma prabhu will come to the real devotional life now you understand clear thank you so much huh? thank What you is, yes yes thank you so yeah. much mm-hmm. prahlad prabhu hari krishna prabhu dandavat pranams dandavat pranams hari bol yeah i just wanted to as since we're we speaking about diplomacy you know relationships and all that yeah. um how do we deal with uh toxic people you know sometimes uh people can be difficult on proper always said that toxic people you always to avoid otherwise that is make your life is toxic okay so how proper how, how proper, sometimes... proper gave a example toxic people is like a poisonous meal you know the milk is yeah. good and this is a nutritious for your body but you know that's a poisonous if i drink yeah. even if it is milk and make my life is my health is finished that's why avoid it so like sometimes you find that uh, those to- toxic people they may be family members so how yes, so then you... then then you make a relationship is hi hello Th- that is we are in his concept horrible relationship sometimes yes. we know some devotees is toxic that time what rela just such example prahlad prabhu is a toxic uh, devotee <laughs> then i will make a relationship ah oh, prabhu hi prahlad prabhu how are you hari krishna prabhu are you okay namaste you are okay then prahlad wait wait wait, wait. prabhu listen listen i wanted to say something about paramatma listen yeah. oh prabhu i don't have time actually i have some uh, uh, appointment <laughs> with the zoom class i'm coming i i will speak to you prabhu i love you too much you please to call me any other time like this sir yeah. okay, okay. No, i know prallad means he is a bbc any time go to the prallad life to telling some stories okay. everybody's stories so that people you always to avoid don't want you to hear a story by my life is as so many stories why i am going to hear the another stories everybody's life has a story everybody's life is a story that's why you will avoid don't break up don't kick them just to avoid them don't show that you hatred them you will make a horrible relation yes prabhu hi hari krishna take prasad take this prasadam you eat you said six seat we'll together eat and you know. no 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 i have time you have time but don't sit with him and don't take a prasad because after this 15 minutes prasad is all the poison will put in your ear rather you go under a tree and eat tree will not to cheat you get my point thank you thank Clear. you so much thank you so much. yes mata ji uh, what is that? i forgot your name uh bahira mata ji hari krishna no yes. prabhu i was going to ask you some hari bol dalo yes. mata ji andrish andrish mata ji i was going to ask a similar yes. question to uh, yes, yes yes i was going to ask a similar question uh, that uh, prabhu just asked so i kind of got my answer but mm. uh, you know it's so difficult because we are in these relationships 
And, you know, over a period of time, you realize that people are not actually who they are or who they, um, you know, portray to be. And as a result, you get caught up in this dilemma. And it's so difficult to get yourself out of the situation because you don't want conflict, you know. So I got the answer. Just keep away, minimize contact and just greet and just keep moving. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank yes. you very much. It is, it is called in. If you know that, but still you are continued, that means it is your weakness. That person no fault. Such a, some jury board you will go. Prabhu, I am a good person, but I want it today. Then jury board said, why you, why you go again and again? You know that person is not good. But still, why are you going to the compassionate? Why you? Just you keep it a relationship. Hi, hello, Hare Krishna, best. Finish. Why you keep contact? Why you keep so much attachment? That means you have some interest. You have some interest. One girl one time come to me. You're South Africa. I knew. She said, Prabhu, I love a one boy. But that boy, again and again, just to inhumane and just to uh, teasing me and uh, bad behavior. I said, why that boy not to take a bamboo and beat you? I'll uh, give the number that boy. I'll say, that boy will beat you from today. He said, Prabhu, why you tell like this? I said, you know that boy one day, two day, three day, just to make you the bad things. Why you still keep continue? That boy has some good things? No. You said that no good thing. That is still why you go. That means you have some interest. E yes, we will not to leave that person, that spiritual person, even they not to tolerate me. Still, I will catch up like our Guru Maharajas or very holy person. They all say, hey, just Bhakti Chaitanya Swami, Swami said, Paramatma, don't every time come and just to disturbing me every time this goes. Paramatma will say, yeah, this fellow, I don't like it. Always to tell like for the guru, for the holy person, for the Krishna, don't say this word. But if it is telling some other person, like a Pallad Prabhu or any other, then you reject. But if it is a holy man, because I have some interest, if I keep contact with holy man, I will get some advice. I can get some spirituality. But those fellow is a mundane person. Why am I just to steal his rebooking? Then People will say, then I said, you are a lusty girl. That's why you're going again and again. Because that girl, boy understand. Maybe you are satisfied with that boy. That's why that you are going again and again. To hearing this kind of hard word from that day, that girl never can meet with that boy. I said, you don't do, write it down in the paper. Either six months or one year, that boy, boy will call. Not to need uh, so much time. After seven months, that boy was text. I am darling to missing you. That girl was sending that uh, forward me. I said, now you understand. It is our Bengali said. When we have a tooth, we not to give the, um, the priority or the respect. But when you lose our tooth, that time we give the respect. That's so when someone not to understand your value, Little bit go aside, little bit go, uh, I mean, the sideway. Give the time today or tomorrow when they understand, you again go back. I not to say be you arrogant, you know. If it is overcome and recover everything, then you again will. But give some time to understand your value. Keep your prestige. Keep your prestige. Get my point, Mataji? <laughs> Andrisha Mataji? Andrisha Mataji? Understand? Andrisha yes, Mataji? Prabhu. Okay. Thank you. Anu Prabhu, do you have some question or comments? Uh, no questions, Prabhu. My questions have been addressed previously by the previous speakers, but it's a good uh, topic today. Uh, especially nowadays, we see we were quite um, we, um, we get quite uh, uh, associated with people that we don't at first we don't really know them, but the like the Gita gets so much of information like how to address it, 
We'll leave yes. it to, uh, this is also important about the Gita. Yet it was yeah. spoken so many years ago, but it's so relevant to nowadays, especially nowadays with the, the current situation we live in. And so yeah. should keep it. And it's uh, so important to uh, discern this. So, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Coffee Prabhu, do you have some question or comments? Unmute and tell. Unmute. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Now I am audible. Thank you. I don't have any question, but it's just a very, very encouraging and good uh, topic tonight we had. You know, time is priceless and uh, life is uh, valueless. Yes. It's very important to value all this. And uh, yeah, thank yes. you very much. Yes, because for the life, we are just two toxic people, the envious people, some self-centered people. Why are you just using our life? Because our time is very valuable. We should give the time for the priceless person, for the spiritual activities. The toxic people, notorious people, why are you spending our time? Our life will be valueless. We should be spending our time. Those who are holy people, holy books, holy association. That is the important. Get the point, Kofi Prabhu? Thank you so much. Yes, I did. Yes. We Thank should you. chant. Thank you. Oshim Prabhu, comments? Hare Krishna Prabhu, Pranam. Pranam, Bita. I don't have any question, but I have a comment. Yeah. If, if a person in this material world, he don't know anything about Krishna, and if he will start reading Bhagavad Gita, his yeah. percentage is zero. From zero, his percentage will become 100. Yes. Thank you so much. Your good understanding. Thank Pranam. you so much. You see, this little boy, his parents is a devotee. He even not to six cents open properly. He's a five standard student. By the association of Gita, what he's learning. Sorry, when this boy will come to the real sense, the real education, when he properly matured, can you imagine how? Yeah. Jogesh Prabhu, any comments? Unmute, unmute. Thank you very much, Prabhuji. No question, but uh, it was very uh, good class and very learned. Yeah. So thank you very much for your time and uh, hopefully we see you again. Yes. Again, we have to sit in the Saturday class. Yeah, thank you, Prabhuji. Uh, thank you. Uh, Jairadha? Jairadha didn't hear the class. No, Prabhuji, I didn't get to hear the class today. But it was very important class. You know, for your life, it is also very good. You are a young teenager. I will listen to it on Facebook, Prabhuji, then. Yes, later you can hear. Where is Hema? Hema, do you have a comment? <laughs> Hema? Hema, everybody saw that you have no hair. Yeah. Hema, do you have a comment? Everybody yeah. says that you... Haste. Haste. Everybody want to hear your comments, Hema? Hare Krishna. You say my comments is Hare Krishna. Chant Hare Krishna and be happy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Hare okay. Krishna. No. Uh -uh. She's a little girl, but she's chanting. Toma Mataji. Hare Krishna Pranam Prabhu. Yes. I have no question, but it was very good for our life. It's a really, really nice class. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much, Prabhu. 
हरे कृष्ण सुष्मिता माता जी सुष्मिता मां भक्तिमान मुरारी प्रभु आई थिंक सो दे हैज गॉन थैंक यू सो मच सो थैंक यू सो मच टू पार्टिसिपेट दिस क्लास नाउ आई एल गोइंग टू द बेंगोली जूम सो द नेक्स्ट सैटरडे will i mean the uh, you see not so many people come but those who are coming at least they can understand these things that is the perfection of our class that's why i'm always to say proper the one word say that that i like it we don't want quantity we want a quality we want a quality a one person can understanding the reality and to become a good devotee that is enough okay thank you so much to join our class the next hare, hare krishna yes. prabhu yes i have one comment and this is the best thing i like yes time is priceless life is valueless okay thank you so much pranam prabhu <laughs> pranam everybody like you too much in this class that you are a little boy but you still so enthusiastic to your spirituality nice english and everything very nice thank you so much beta thank you prabhu hari bol and he is every day chanting four rounds you know and he can play mridanga he can singing mm. no no prabhu uh, harmonium yes that is he singing me zanmaniya like our jay radha also like that so okay we'll stop here today we'll come next saturday with the another topics i will just to let you inform thank you so much bansa kalpataruv bhatsa kripa sindhu bhai vacha patitanam pavanibha vaishnavebhai namo namo ananda gori vishnu bhakt vrind ki jay sulo prabhupad ki jay भगवत गीता की जय समवेत भक्त वृंद की जय गौ प्रमानंदे हरि हरि बोल हरे कृष्णा जय जगन्नाथ जय जय राधा